If Siri was a real life girl, would you date her? Call Lisa. Lisa, I don't know any Lisa. Is this something we need to talk about? Siri, turn on airplane mode. Airplane mode? You could just put me on mute. Fine, I took a wrong turn. Will you please get us directions to the restaurant? Of course, now you're asking for directions 20 minutes later. Do I have time to make my four o'clock? I don't know. Why don't you ask Lisa? Siri, I don't think this is going to work out. Searching for. I don't think this is going to work out. Okay, Google now. How long do you think this console generation will last? Streaming of games is just around the corner, so do we really need new consoles? It is really hard to look into your magic crystal ball and see where we're going to be five or ten years from now. I mean, something that really blows my mind is that YouTube and the Xbox 360 both came out in the same month back in 2005. It's just a very, very bizarre thing to think about. So, personally, I think these consoles are going to be here to stay for a while, but I'm not totally sold that they're just going to completely become extinct here after this generation is over. Now, on the streaming game side, it kind of depends on what you're talking about. I mean, things like in-home streaming, like with Steam boxes. So, you know, you take a Steam box, you throw it in your closet, and you play a game on your TV. I think that's here to stay, and I think it actually works surprisingly well just already, not having to wait for anything. However, as far as like streaming games over the internet, that is pretty much entirely reliant on how good the internet can get. And that is something that does not move anywhere near as fast as things like YouTube or consoles or anything like that. So it might be possible for some games, especially if you have a really good internet connection, but I'm not sold that streaming is going to be replacing normal consoles or PCs anytime soon. What camera and mic do you use for YouTube? For the camera, I've now upgraded to a Canon C100. So I've wanted one of these for a long time, so when my buddy John from TLD was selling his, I could not pass it up. So super happy with the image quality and just all the features that come with a proper video camera, so very, very happy with the C100. And for audio, I'm using a Zoom H4n. So this is a great microphone, it just kind of sits on a tripod right below my shot underneath the camera so I can record audio. And it's really solid, it has a good mic kind of built in so I can kind of use it just for normal recording like I do for my typical videos. But it also has things like XLR inputs as well as normal mic jacks to really make it very useful for all kinds of things. What are your impressions on the LG G3? I'm surprisingly impressed. So I've typically not been a big fan of LG phones, mostly because I don't really like the skins they use, but the G3 hardware looks awesome. So it's got that huge screen with the tiny bezels, it has laser autofocus on the camera, which is just awesome, and it also has a kind of metal slash plastic build, which probably won't quite match up to things like the HTC One and the iPhone, but it's definitely an improvement. So if they have a Google Play edition, sign me up. Are you going to be doing more budget PC builds anytime soon? Really interested in that part of the channel. Absolutely. So I'm not stupid. I know that budget gaming PC builds are a huge part of why a lot of you guys watch my channel. And yeah, I've been doing them monthly for the last little while. I know I had a couple months earlier in the year where I was a little bit behind. But yeah, I've pretty much gotten into a monthly schedule of a new kind of gaming PC build. Not all of them are budget. Some of them, including one that probably will be coming up next month, will be very expensive. But I like to kind of mix it up and just do some fun, cool builds. Are you Marquez Brownlee in disguise? D dis disguise? What? N no, of course, no, <laughs> of course not. What wallpaper do you use for your background on most of your computers? I get this question asked all the time, but my wallpaper is called Division 2, and it's made by Justin Maller. So I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check it out, as not only does he have this wallpaper, but tons and tons of other awesome choices. If you could raise one Pokemon in real life, which one would you choose and why? So my first instinct would be going with something like a Magikarp, so, you know, Magikarp's cool, you know, he splashes around and stuff, however when he evolves, he's a 20 foot long dragon. Unfortunately, then I have a 20 foot long dragon, so what am I supposed to do with that? Although, as someone with a 20 foot long dragon, why would I care because I have a 20 foot long dragon? Never mind, that's actually a really simple question. Magikarp. How do you feel about liquid cooling graphics cards? For the most part, I don't think liquid cooling is necessary. However, in certain cases, like for example the R9 295X2, that card could not have existed the way it does without liquid cooling. So if you guys want to actually see a little bit more on me talking about this, I've actually already done a video with Paul from Paul's Hardware. You guys will probably know him from Newegg. Uh, but I did a video with him a couple months ago, sitting down just talking all about liquid cooling and graphics cards and whether it's worth it and all that kind of stuff. So I'll have that linked in the description if you want to hear us talk about liquid cooling for like 10 minutes. What do you think of an iPhone 6 with a sub Full HD display with a QHD LG G3, Galaxy S5, and M8 arriving? 
I don't think it's going to be a big deal. So right now, the iPhone 6 is rumored to have a 4.7 inch display with a resolution of 1704 by 960. Now, if you compare that to something like the Moto X, which also has a 4.7 inch screen, but with a lower 720p resolution, I thought that was totally fine. So, I mean, sure, it would be nice to have 1080p or 1440p, but in the end, I don't really think it's going to be necessary. What are your thoughts on Google's self-driving car? So I totally understand that driverless cars are a thing, they're going to be a thing, that, that's okay with me, but this is not really selling me on the whole idea, right? Like, can, has anyone from Google take a look at a Tesla? That's a futuristic electric car, it's awesome, and it looks nice. This, uh, not so much. So, uh, I'm sure the tech is awesome, I'm sure the car is really cool, but in, as long as it looks like this, then, uh, yeah. This is unrelated to tech, but what is your favorite food? Pizza. Why is that even a question? Like, is there a food that's actually better than pizza? Because if there is, there isn't. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And of course, all those links, as well as everything else I talked about, will be in the description of this video. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. You're going out in that? Seriously?